Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel Two Busy Bumps. I am Devoshmita and today I'll be showing how you can DIY your stretchy flats from fabric that you can buy online and cut it into flats. You can use those flats for cat folding, you can use those for fancy folds like origami and other folds. And this fabric that I have right here is bamboo organic cotton spandex. It's really nice and stretchy. The GSM on it is around 260 so it's really great for daytime. Before I show you how exactly you cut your flats from a fabric, if you are not subscribed to our channel, go ahead and subscribe and hit the bell button for more videos. Follow us on our social media and stay tuned. So to make your stretchy flats, few things you need is gonna be the tape and you will need a pen or marker and you will need a scissor to cut the fabric. And this stretchy flats, you don't have to search the edges. It does not fray, so you don't have to do anything. You just cut it and use it. It's not gonna get bad or anything. So first, I have laid down the fabric flat on the floor. And the next thing I will do, just measure it with the tape. So usually, if you are doing, cutting it for the pack fold, you can cut it smaller and it does not have to be square. But I'm gonna do it for a fancy fold because that's what I like. If you're cutting a flat for doing pad fold only, you can cut it smaller size, probably like 60 centimeters by 70 centimeters. And if you're doing it for any fancy fold, you can do it square. And 70 by 70 is just fine. But I like to make it a little bigger. I'll make it 75 by 75 because I, I'm i gonna use it for night time. And I don't want to add any boosters. Rather than that, I'll just keep my flat a little bigger. And that way it can last the baby's a little bigger as well so 75 centimeters is gonna be about 29 and a half inches and I'm gonna just mark this side and then I'm gonna probably just cut all the way in this length once I'm done cutting it I'll come back and show you how it looks like in this side and here it's gonna be 150 and the next step I'm gonna do this one's gonna be used as boosters or for pad folding so I'll not be worried about this and then I'm gonna go ahead and cut this ones and get squares so basically this one from here to here is 75 the next thing I have to do is measure it out in this way and cut it you can also just do like this and find the square and cut it however it's easier for you fabric and then just press it so that I have the soft line to follow and now I'm just gonna go ahead and cut that line and make sure your scissor is really sharp and probably a little bigger scissor for now this is all I had handy with me so I'm using it and if you have a smaller scissor it's just gonna take more time to cut That's all you have to do. There is your square stretchy flat. I'm gonna go ahead and cut that fabric a little later. I just wanted to show you guys how you cut this and that's all you need to do. We do not have to search the side as I told you before because it's not gonna fray. It has spandex in it so it does not get off this knitted fabric and before 
you use it on the baby all you have to do is wash it one time because it's a bamboo usually the bamboo fabrics will need to be washed three to four times before it gets full absorbent and now i just cut it and then i'll go ahead and wash it before using it and that's all you have to do so this is the flat that i have just cut from that fabric that we got from the fabric store and i got it from fluff trails i will have the link in the description below you can go there and find all the stretchy fabrics to make your own flat and this is a flat that i have it's a flower sack towel if you can see the sides has been stitched and this is just a square cotton fabric and that's how a flat looks like so it's very easy to make a flat in your home and if you can see this is just a square and you don't need to stitch and you can do a hat fold like this and put it on your baby so you can lay it in a cover and put it on your baby or you can do a fancy fold with this and wrap it around the baby that's my way to go because in a fancy fold the legs can be really nice and snug especially with the stretchy flat and you can use it without a cover and the poop does not get into everywhere so you will just fold it like this i prefer using a fleece liner on top so that the baby can feel the dry feeling and the, it's easy to deal with the poop so all you have to do is put it on your baby in this way and wrap it around them and then use a snappy or pin to secure it so it's very easy and it's very cheap if you're trying to buy a stretchy flat it will probably cost you i don't know say like six seven dollar each piece or probably more actually i think diy will cost you six seven dollars if you're trying to buy one it's probably gonna be 13 14 dollar and in india if you are making one it's probably gonna cost you around 180 rupees to 200 rupees for a bamboo stretchy flat or if you're trying to buy one it will probably cost you 400 rupees or more so it's very cheap to make on your own just because you don't have to search the sides i mean it's as easy as just cutting a fabric and you just put it on your baby from fabrics and DIY your own flats. It can be cotton fabric, you can cut it from sari or dhoti or dupatta, you just cut it and make it a piece of fabric square and that can be used as a flat. And here I got this stretchy bamboo fabric from Fluff Trails and made some stretchy flats. If you can see this fabric, it's really nice and stretchy. It's like a t-shirt material and from one meter of bamboo cut, organic cotton spandex fabric I got two big square for doing fancy fold on the child they are 75 centimeters by 75 centimeters and I got three boosters they're around so one is like 25 centimeters by 100 centimeters I kept it a little big because I have a fluff, ra uh, fluff wrap from the fluff trail so i am planning to just head fold it and use it inside that and the other twos are a little smaller they're around the rest so they're like 30 by so you have to do the math i mean 30 by around i want to say 70 but they can be used in a pocket with any other boosters or you can use two of this in a pocket and they are very absorbent so even though they look thin they will absorb a lot so please go ahead and check the description box below for the link to fluff trails go ahead and buy your fabric and all other diaper need for your diy projects i hope this video was helpful for you if you are not subscribed to our channel yet go ahead and subscribe so that you can see all the other diy videos that's gonna come up on the channel soon and follow us on our social media till our next video love your babies